Hello everyone, the ghost update just came out in Blocks Fruits, and I'm going to be going over everything that's new in the update. So first of all, the revive fruit has gotten reworked, it's now called the ghost fruit. I think it used to be like 750 robux, now it's 1275 robux. They made the shop look a little bit better right here. But here's the cool thing that just happened. So they added a new type of chest, a shadow chest, and I'm not sure what it drops yet. It has a random chance of spawning in place of like a golden or a silver chest. But here, look at this. We just got a shadow chest like right away, so let's open it. And we earned $7,300 and 20 bones. Also, there's like NPCs I have to fight. Let me kill these quick. Oh, and they also drop bones. Okay, guys, this is actually really cool. Hold on. So now let's kill this evil wrath. So we we just got a lot of bones from that. I had like zero bones probably. So I think I just got probably like 50 bones just from that. So what I'm going to do right now is test out the reworked version of Revive. It's called Ghost now, obviously. So we're going to unstore it. Ghost Fruit. All right, it looks the same as it did earlier. It looks pretty cool. So now let's eat it. Wait, is it a legendary right now? Ghost. Uh, resurrection activated. Next time you die, you'll be revived at 50% health. So now there's just an automatic resurrection for it, and I gotta get three more mastery. Okay, I've unlocked all the skills. So we've got Shivering Possession. Let's use that quickly also. I don't have any stats on Blocks Fruit right now, so we're just not gonna talk about how little damage it does. Yo, this looks really good. Spectral release. Oh my gosh, these moves look amazing. Cries of the Underworld. Okay, so this is a hold move. Dude, I think these actually do do a lot of damage. Use some of these again. Spectral release. Yo, these look amazing right now. Wandering Soul, which is like the flight ability. And don't forget that you get a resurrection with this. So if you don't use Buddha for M1 spam, and you don't use a fruit in PvP like I do, I PvP with no fruit, you can just pop this on and just get a free resurrection. And now the final move, Ghost Busters. Oh, hold on, I used that wrong. What the heck? Wait, what's going on? Okay, so wait, it's summoned. Two, it summons two of me, and it's using my fighting style to kill people. Hold on, wait, that's overpowered. Okay, we have another cursed chest here, so clearly they're not too rare. Let's do this again quickly. Dude, this is really cool. I like this, especially for just a little update while we wait for a big one. This is really good. Okay, let's kill the last thing. And that actually does give you quite a lot of bones, like if you farm those chests. Okay, I have a little bit of bones right now, so we're just gonna roll, see if I can get anything. Wait, what? Stats refund, race reroll. For 300 bones. Stats refund for 150 bones. Okay, that's actually really good. Let's do three random surprises. We rolled some money. At least that's a little bit more money than before. Some more money again. Am I going to get something good? Nope, I got more money. Okay, I want to see what the resurrection looks like. So let's see. Beware, you're on your last life. Okay, so now I'm a ghost. And I'm going to use the ghost busters. Look at this, we've got all the ghosts. I could just use the Ghostbusters to fight the things I get from opening the chest. Well, guys, I think that's about all for this update. Overall, it's a pretty dang good update for just a little filler update while we wait for a big one. I really like the shadow chest and that you can get new stuff and rolling for bones. So I'm going to save up on bones. Maybe they added an infinite thing so there's no cooldown after using 10. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.